So this is the fourth and final video of the Anchor Factor series. And in this video, I will explain how to use your obsession, use your crazy ups and downs to actually make you more effective than anybody else. And also what happens and how to build up on the process once you actually have it. So let's say that you're listening to me and you're like, okay, I get it. Um, I understand the first point I need an anchor in life I understand the second point it's all about the process process creates results I understand the third process whenever I want to add a new change I simply add a habit and it doesn't have to be this crazy thing and that will create the long-term results now the fourth part is what do you actually do with it like okay how do you actually make it awesome so if you recall um, I explained regarding habits that you want to have what I call evergreen goals. So you want to have goals that you're absolutely sure that you want and that you'll always, always want. For example, some things I'll always want are to be famous. I really want to be famous and it's not like a whim. It's something that I always want no matter what. I always want to help people and make sure that you know everybody has the best life they can have. I will always want to be fit and have a great fucking body that people admire um, I'd always want to read more and learn more so these are things that I can safely set goals for uh, meaning that you know when I set my goal to do five videos a day you know I'm not like hey you know is there the results can I see a result when is the result coming am I you know maybe I'm wasting time you know that question like maybe I'm wasting my efforts here I don't have these questions because I know I want to be famous I know that making five videos a day is my best shot you know as a habit of becoming famous so I never actually have doubts about my daily habits so think on for yourself like what are the things that I'm positive in my life in all areas of my life that I'm positive uh, and completely sure that I want now and that I'll always want no matter what and that way you can basically have an anchor again an anchor from that that is a process that of progressive realization of things that you're sure that you're going to want no matter what happens so that way you never second guess yourself you never doubt yourself you never ask yourself if it's the right thing and that way you, you won't get that thing where you start something you do it for a month and then you find something better and then you do that and then you do this and you basically maintain yourself on the right proper course so only set goals for things that you know you're going to want i don't put in my process things that are not uh, evergreen things that I don't know I'll always want so if I might have something that I want to do I might try it but I'm not gonna add it to my goals my daily goals because my daily goals are sacred my daily goals only consist of things which I'm going to do every day no matter what you know come hell or high water so I treat it with respect so I'll only put things in it that I'm sure I'll always want because I want to keep feeding it every single day that's my anchor that's my baby Okay, that's my partner. That's what hap that's what helps me. That was that's what grounds me. That's what helps me progress in life. And then I take my obsession that you also have, you know, like, oh my god, I want to do this and this and this and that thing that, you know, you use that obsession, but the thing is you use it wrongly because you use it, you get a surge for a month or two, uh, you try something and then it's like, oh no, 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 it's amazing, yeah, blah, blah. And then you find something better. It's like, oh now this, yes, da, da, da. Now, now this, now this. And then you start a lot of short-term things, but nothing actually goes up. And you think it's because you haven't found the right thing or the most uh, highly leveraged thing, but it's not. It's simply because you are not committed. And why are you not committed? Because again, you haven't found something that you're willing to commit regardless of the results. So, so you're focused like, oh, okay, maybe this method, maybe this way, maybe this strategy. But you're not focused, first of all, on the actual results and, and what you want in life. So. So because I know that five videos a day is the best way for me, you know, it's like the most extreme, awesome thing I can think of that will help me become famous, I never second guess it. I'm never like, oh, I found something better than making five videos a day. I might add something, but I intentionally choose something that I know I'm not gonna change. And so I have the same obsession as you do that makes us almost superhuman, but because I put blinders on myself and I only see forward, I only see the daily goals every single day, that's the only thing I look at. What are my daily goals? What are my daily goals? And I, I, I you know, I, I, I play dumb, 
I think small. I don't think about anything. I, I don't think about opportunities. I don't think about other better ways. I simply commit to my process and I do my fucking process and I don't stop doing it no matter what. And yeah, am I maybe losing opportunities? Yeah, possibly. I might lose an opportunity here or there. But you know what? I, I'd rather lose an opportunity and actually get to the finish line in a year than try several opportunities and then stop midway uh, and then start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. And you know, a year from now, the guys that are looking for those crazy opportunities, you know, those, those, those chances, uh, th they'll be maybe 10% better than they were last year. And I'll be like 5,000% better because I simply persisted and, and, and kept growing stably uh you know and that doesn't mean that i don't have surges that doesn't mean that i don't have cool ideas it means that i add them on top of what i'm doing so this leads me to the compounding effect of your anchor and your process basically um you um compound the process you make it better and better and better uh for example uh part of my process uh is reading two hours every day and part of another part of my process is, wor is working out every day so I found out that many, many times I can actually uh, use audiobooks uh, to read while I uh, work out. And that way, I'm actually conserving a lot of time. Um, another example is that soon when I'll be traveling Europe, I'll be getting myself a camera guy that will travel with me and follow me around. How is that compounding? Well, I don't need to worry about videos anymore because somebody will shoot the videos for me and would even uh, edit them for me. So now that part, you know, gets outside. So it's still part of my daily process, but nobody said that I have to do the daily process. I could leverage by delegating and having somebody else do it. And, and that's how you build upon the daily process. And even a business is a daily process. They have um, strategies, they have uh, uh, specific things that everybody needs to do every day. A business that doesn't have a clear strategy or a clear uh, order of events that causes growth and, and, and works to build on it, uh, it's not going to survive because the moment that, uh, that something bad happens, you know, they, everything goes haywire or the moment something good happens, uh, everybody gets lazy. So the, the conclusion to this four part series is, again, you have to have an anchor. If you don't have an anchor, I feel sorry for you because the next time you have a storm in your life, you're going to be carried around and you're going to lose yourself and you don't know where you're going to fall. You're going to fall better, worse. But again, you're living in reaction. People who live in reaction are never going to get anywhere in life because the only way to get far in life is to intentionally focus on something for a long, long, consistent time. Because you, you might become a millionaire by accident. You might even win the lottery, but you'll never become a billionaire by accident. It takes too many steps, too many failures, too much commitment to do that shit by accident. And you'll never become a world-class anything by accident. You'll never accomplish your dreams by accident. It just doesn't happen. Uh, that, so, so you have to have this anchor. You have to have an anchor. You have to stay consistent long-term with one thing specifically. And then you need to realize that you're not entitled to anything. It doesn't matter how good you get in life, how bad you are in life just because you may, you got success or just because you don't have it, it doesn't say anything about your character. It just simply says, what's the process you've been doing up to this point? If you start doing a process that creates fitness, you're going to get fit. It's not about character. You're just going to get fit. If you do a process for getting money, for becoming rich, you are going to slowly get rich. Just not stop. There's no way to stop that. It's not about earning it or deserving it. It's just about doing the process until you get it. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. And then thirdly, third point is that you should always be even keeled. And you can only be even keeled when you have a process that anchors you. Because if you don't have that process, anytime you're going to want to make a change in your life or add a new thing, you're going to either procrastinate because uh, you can't accept, you basically can't uh, assimilate it into your life. You can't modify your life because everything is like black and white to you. It's like, yeah, do it or not do it. I have to go all in, I have to do it and, and give up everything else, or I have to, uh, to, 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 to give up on it. Like, you know, you wanna write a book? No, it's either I write books or I don't do anything. Because again, you don't have that mentality, you don't have that process. But when you have that process, you can actually assimilate 
and modify the process and create uh, new habits that support your uh, new goals and new desires and that way you stay even killed you keep making progress rather than always resetting starting over and again you can't really make any true progress unless you stay at something long term but you can make changes you can pivot while making progress and finally uh, fourth video this is the this video I explained to you about um, oh this is a good light I explained to you about um, I love this light uh, I explained to you about compounding and what happens when you have the process again when you compound the process that's how you accelerate the growth that's what happens uh, when you get to higher and higher levels, you learn to do more with less. So you can actually take up more and more uh, daily habits uh, with your business or with your own life uh, by delegating, by, by becoming more efficient with your time. And that way you even keep progressing f faster and faster. So the process might have took you uh, 12 hours a day to do and now it only takes you six. And then you also delegate it even more. So now what t took you two hours can now take you nothing because somebody else does it for you but you still have to make sure that he does it for you. So the pro process change changes from, for example, making five videos a day to making sure that the guy filmed five videos of me every day and edited and uploaded them. So you have to still maintain the process, only now it's gonna take you like two minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes rather than two hours. So I hope this video, you know, the series made a lot, lot of sense. It's extremely important to me. This is my, my, uh, my magnum opus in terms of uh, process, habits. Of course, it's my magnum opus, my best creation uh, until I, I, I make the process even better and learn even more how to communicate it. But really, these four videos should teach you everything that you need uh, to start right now and kill in life and get amazing, amazing long-term results uh, that are much bigger than anything you could ever accomplish short-term anyway. So I hope this helps you a lot. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, please subscribe now. That would be a really good opportunity. And if you want coaching, if you want me to help you, contact me. We'll have a, a, an amazing free call where I promise I'll change your life. I have a 100% uh, guarantee, 100% um, uh, statistic about changing people's lives in our first call. And we might even work together. Who knows? So uh, thanks for watching. I hope I changed your life just in these few videos. And uh, keep following me because I promise, you know, the content is only going to get better and better and better and better. See you soon.